Hey guys, this is Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center, and I want to show you guys how to do the, the hanky that knows worship inside and out. All right, I'm wearing Dodo's jacket because it's easy, it's going to be easier to show you where everything's coming from while wearing his jacket. And so we, what we've got here, um, I guess you, you don't necessarily have to use these, these colors, you just want to make sure you get a W, an O, an R an S, an H, an I, and a P. So if you got something that maybe has letters on it, that would even work better. That's what I really wanted. And then I could have laid them out to where it spelled the word worship. And that would have worked a lot nicer, but this is what I have. And you want yourself a hanky. Fairly large. Make sure it's also fairly opaque. Can't be seen through very easy. Um, it just makes this a little simpler to, to do. All right. Then you need to know the placement of each of these silks. A little trick that I kind of came up with for this, I used, um, you can see that's a little chick. I used Easter eggs to separate these in my pocket because I've done silk tricks before and I'll put like two or three or four silks in one pocket and I try and push them to one side and that doesn't really work. I'd, what I'd really like to do is sew some um, compartments inside there so that I can have more than one in there but this worked um, this actually worked quite well so the last one we, the, we do first when we're, when we're setting up you do the last one first and that's purple and what I did is I set pushed it all into an Easter egg preferably an Easter egg that can close easy but also open easy these right here all I have to do is press on them and they pop open makes it really simple now they make this popping sound, of course you can lessen that a little bit if you do it nice and slow, and as well if you're talking it's likely people aren't going to hear that from on stage, but this creates a separate compartment inside my pocket, and this is going to go to the back side of my pocket when I put it in. So that's the P. Then I do the I, and it goes in the other pocket because of course I'm going back and forth with the, um, the hanky. So then I've got another egg in there for that one. I put this into the egg and I'm not going to do it perfectly but get this into the egg and this goes one to the back of my pocket in this pocket. Now I'm going to go back over here and I've got another egg for H. It goes in here. It goes to the front of my pocket. Then the S, same thing, I got another egg over here. And this one goes to the front of my pocket. There we go. That goes to the front of the left pocket. And because they're like balls, um, or they're bigger like this, they're not going to really switch places very easily. I guess if you kind of jumped up and down you might have a problem, so I'd recommend not doing that. Then the R goes in this pocket, I just put it in the top of this, this side of the pocket. Then O, same thing, it goes on this side, I just put it in the pocket. And then the white, I had a thumb tip. So the white is inside of a thumb tip. Like so. You can have the thumb tip on as you come out. Um, Dodo comes out juggling, so I didn't really have the thumb tip on to begin with, but I slipped my hand in my pocket, put the thumb tip on right before starting the trick for the kids. Um, for the video, I had it on too. Um, if you want, if you look closely, I, I went ahead and I did this on, the, on it just to kind of test it for myself and kind of look in the video, but you can look at it too. Actually, you can probably look at it right now because I'm holding the thing like this, and you probably can't even tell I'm wearing the thumb tip here um, because of the way I'm holding my hand. This is a pretty big thing if you got thumb tips. You can point that thumb at whoever you're doing the trick for and they're not going to really be able to tell. You do this, you're like, hey, that looks a little funny. So you want to point it when you're using a thumb tip. That's just an extra little thing. Alright, so you got a thumb tip, you got a white one inside of it, and then you've got all the other silks in here, and you've got your hanky. So, oh, of course, also, I, I put this rope up. You can probably do this. Put a rope up so you can lay them down across it. Or use um, clothespins if you wanted to, if you had the letters. 
you could just hang up letters and not even do the trick. It's not a big deal. But anyway, so inside and out. You pull out the hanky and you're wanting to show both inside and out. Okay? So you show out, or you show inside, you show out. And you can hold this up. When I held this up like this, I'm, I'm both covering up the thumb tip for the moment and, I'm, and I, as I talk about the, the hanky, but I'm also reaching into this pocket and pulling this into my hand into a ball like so. So then I've, now I've got that in a ball and I can, I can pull this out like this. And as I pop it up, I put this hand underneath that already has the orange one for later ready to load into the other side and I'm going to use the thumb tip here. What you do is you, this is a classic pulling the a silk from a, a handkerchief or, or whatever or your hand. You just shove your thumb to make the little hole inside there. Go out, now you've got your hole like this. Reach inside, pull out the first color. You can make it kind of come out slow. Pull out the white and that is weight on God. Then you got to get the thumb tip back on. So I usually, while I'm talking about that, I keep putting my hands together, but at some point I'm, I slip the thumb tip back onto my finger and you can get rid of it now. You can keep it on the whole time. Not a big deal, but I try and get rid of it because I, I find that it feels a little awkward to have it on the whole time if I'm not going to use it. And so I'll drop it into my pocket. So now I don't have it anymore. But when I drop it into my pocket, the other thing that I do while I'm in there anyway is I pop open that first egg on the right side because this is going to go to this side. Pop open that egg on the right side. You probably heard it. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry about that. You just grab the red one, the red one that's loose. Don't pop the egg. That's not what you're supposed to do. I went down below because I was grabbing that thumb tip. Okay, so grab the red one, ball it up into your hand and you're switching this. And as you switch it, what you want to do is push what I've got here. I've got this in my fingers like this. And what I want to do is I'm going to push this into this hand, which this one's still concealing the red, but I'm going to push that silk into my hand as I turn it around. So I've got the same thing now with this one up. Sometimes you'll do that and it'll already be poking out. And then and you can just slowly bring it out. You can either show this like this. Sometimes I showed it while I'm talking about it, and I can deal with the other egg. So this one on this side, my left side now, I can pop open that egg and steal it. Or if you want to, you can take this and you can set it down on the rope and talk about it like that. Pop the egg open, get the next one. But as you know, when you once you get the next one. All up, all up into your hand for the for the next thing. Just go ahead and uh, switch it over. You know, don't make a too too much of a big deal of, of switching it over. And you see, when I did that one, now that one's poking out a little bit. And they can possibly, if you do this right, they may say, "Oh, there's a red one." And then you can go, "Oh yeah, there we go. There's the red one." And then you can, uh, of course, the O is uh, obey God. Sorry. And then so you got the red one. I'm gonna pull the red one out. Do the same thing. You can either pull it out, lay it down or talk about it while it's poking out, then you're going for the egg in this pocket while you're talking. Open that up, steal that, steal the next hanky, ball it up in your hand. Or silk, sorry. And when you get that done, you're still, you still want to kind of be talking about that. Do the same thing, switch, push that into the hand, bring it around, you see now you're seeing green. So we've got green there. And I'm going to talk about green and I'm opening the next egg in my pocket over here while I'm talking about green. So everybody's looking at the green one. And you can even, while you've got this in your hand, bring this up. You've got to be careful with this. It's a natural thing to grab these silks like this with your hands balled up like that. And so it's, it's not too funny looking. At least I don't think it's funny looking to pick them up and lay them down like that. But you can be careful because like right now, if I turn this too much, you're going to see that color, so I'm you're very careful to keep that blocked, and then go um, go back to switching this over, and we've got our hot pink. We get the hot pink. We're talking about the hot pink. I'm getting the purple one out of my pocket. Get the purple one. There we go. Balled up in my hand. Pick it up. Put the pink one down, and switch out the hanky over. 
and we've got the indigo one. There we go. And I think if I was actually doing this on stage and I had the rope up, I didn't actually use the rope when I did it on the stage. I just thought it would be easier than the camera. But if you did the rope, probably be best if you probably stood in front of it or did the trick from the side of this so that it's not blocking you like you kind of had in the video where it kind of started blocking what I'm doing with my hands back here. I mean, you might think that's a good thing and that it covers you for some stuff, but as well, by the time you get to the end, you're not have, not needing much cover, so you've got purple. There you go. Purple. Boom. And you're done. You got them all out. Got your hanky. And go through them again. Wait on God. Obey God. Read His Word. Singing. Honor God. Imitate Jesus. And pray. So, enjoy that, guys. Have a good one.